for you. Thank you so much. Everyone else, big cheer. It's Hannah Jones. Hello. You all right? OK. Um, I'd like to share with you a little game that I enjoy playing. It's called Opposite Songs. OK, so what you do, you think of a song title, you take every word from that title, and then you think of the opposite word, and you come up with a new song title. OK, do you get it? Don't think too hard. You know, like, in primary school, when the opposite of dog is cat, and no one can question that? Go back to that place in your, in your mind, and then you can play the game, OK? So, for example, no woman, no cry. That's easy. Yes, man, yes, laugh. It's a bit more positive, isn't it? <laughs> um, then you've got... Um, uh, bye bye, Miss American Pie. Hello, Mr. Iraqi Salad. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? We've got... Uh, Killing Me Softly with his song becomes helping her forcefully with her mime. <laughs> mm, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? Uh, and then, do you know the one? Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. That comes out as like something a sat -nav would say. Whoa. We've reached our destination. Whoa. Relying on science. <laughs> um, if you want to go the whole hog with oppositing, are there any horse riders here? Can you tell me what the opposite of woe is? Anyone? Nay. It's giddy up. It's not nay. <laughs> <laughs> nay is like the opposite of quack. Um, yeah, so, so uh, whoa, 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 she's a lady becomes giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, he's a man. It's hard to stop once you've started. Every song you just hear the, the opposite. Um, on the way here, Purple Rain came on the radio. I was like, ugh, yellow snow. <laughs> um, sometimes, embarrassingly, you might find me at a wedding on the dance floor, just a little bit tipsy, just going, oh, my virginity's drowning. <laughs> that was my sex is on fire if you didn't get that. Um, so it's great this time of year, the Christmas songs are coming out and playing in the shops and stuff. I, is everyone excited about Christmas? <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you're not Scrooges. Um, yeah, so that's, that's great. Um, I like all the Christmas songs, um, all except one, and that's Bob Geldof's Feed the World. I know he means well, bless him, but he's never been to a geography lesson, has he? Um, he's got lyrics like, when nothing ever grows, no rain or rivers flow. Um, did a bit of Googling. Turns out banana growing supports 70 million Africans. Um, did you know last year Kenya exported $1.4 billion worth of tea? Uh, so it's not nothing. Um, and then, no rain or rivers flow. Yeah, except for the Nile, like <laughs> the longest river in the world that flows through three African countries. Um, also, the Limpopo, the Zambezi, the Congo. I could go on. They can't all be flowing with a bitter sting of tears, can they? Um, and then he's got this line, there won't be snow in Africa this Christmas time. Now, fair enough, there is a lot less snow in Africa, maybe just a little bit in the mountainous regions. They do have sun, though. I feel like maybe the Africans should be writing us a slightly patronising song about how crap our weather is. <laughs> like, there won't be sun in Great Britain this Christmas time. The best that they can hope for is slight drizzle. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm excited about my Christmas lunch, though, um, Christmas dinner. Unfortunately, this year, my husband's decided that he is a vegetarian. Um, it's a shame, isn't it? And he says, oh, well, if you're going to buy meat, at least 
Can you buy the best organic meat? You know, that's come from a, from a happy turkey. I said, why kill the happy ones? <laughs> why not kill the miserable ones that have never seen sunlight and probably want to die? You'd be doing them a favor. Um, Has anyone started their Christmas shopping? Ooh, exciting. Um, I've just got a little suggestion for a stocking filler. Um, I've invented something. Um, it's, do you know what a shiwi is? <laughs> it's not that. So a shiwi helps women to wee more easily. What I've invented is the opposite of that. It makes weeing more difficult for men. Um, here it is now. The prototype, just back from the patent office. <laughs> it's not the end of a watering can, in case you're wondering. Um, so if you, if you wanted to get a little stocking filler and you're going camping with your partner, maybe consider this as a different way to sort of level the playing field. Um, you have been a delightful audience. Thanks very much, especially you guys. Thanks. Um, I've been Hannah James. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Thank you.